Hello, welcome to our video. We are here in Devil's Lake, Wisconsin. This is one of the national parks of State. Wisconsin. State parks, sorry. State parks. Um, Same. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a really beautiful day out. It's about 65 degrees. And so we thought we'd go ahead and show you what it's like to be here in one of uh, the United States <laughs> national parks. So It's perfect little drive, a little getaway from Chicago. It's a little under three hours. So and it's just, it's really relaxing. It feels like a whole other country coming here. So we just started the hike and somebody's a little tired already. We have a little backpack for him and he really gets tired. But we'd like to introduce Atlas. He's about four and a half. He's an Italian Pembroke Welsh Corgi. He's a little adventure boy. He's so tired. So I don't know if I would necessarily call some of these steps. It seems very uh, makeshift by nature, but uh, we haven't been hiking since, what, 2020? So it's been a while. If you're ever wondering what it's like to put a dog inside this canine backpack, it's not that easy. Especially if it's a corgi, because they're extra long. So we successfully managed to get Atlas inside. So apparently this is the steepest part. So going down the East Bluff, we took the elk route. But if you're coming here, take the other one that's on the left. It is much less uh, steep and less dangerous. Atlas, say hi to the camera. Atlas. Hi! <laughs> He's so tired. This is a good rest for him. So this, uh, you can call this a rock, uh, rock staircase. That is, this is supposed to be an easy hike. Something you realize when hiking is how out of shape you are. I did not, I thought this was going to be like a walk in the park quarter mile in, I'm gassed out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, but it's beautiful. It is definitely worth it. He is also done. And we are halfway there? Hopefully. No, yeah, it is beautiful either way. So this is definitely not the easiest hike. Uh, we picked a route that's shorter, but it is not easy, but uh, very picturesque. No problem. Oh man. Never say I don't do anything for you, Atlas. Oh man. What is what is this pose, Vern? Eh, it's a little obscure. You don't want to know. <laughs> Starting to hallucinate while uh, hiking uh, two miles in. Definitely uh, city folk. You yeah. can say that. It's not a, we have a state park near Chicago called Star Rock. But I mean, it's nothing compared to this. Like in Star Rock, we actually have like little walkways that are um, paved and stuff. This is a lot more technical, more yeah. jagged rocks and things like that. Watch out for your ankles and uh, <laughs> don't bring tiny dogs. He's so tired. So we're about an hour into this hike and I didn't think we were going to be this tired, honestly. I thought it was going to be a lot easier. Um, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> nature. <laughs> so this is what I thought the pathway was going to look like for today's hike. Boy, um, was I wrong? <laughs> so how you know we don't really do a lot of hiking, a lot of nature stuff? A uh, mile and a half in, we realized what kind of animals are in this park? Because we just heard some uh, really loud rustling and um, finally realized, you know, 
what what do they what do they have here? So yeah, but I'm not worried though, because I'm a tough guy. So <laughs> Mariana knows that. Born and raised in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I mean Chicago, yeah, it's not not for everybody. But neither is this trail. Where so the, today's aim was to go to Devil's Devil's Rock to see a door, devil's doorway to see the formation but we're not even halfway there and I don't know I think we might have to try for this again because there's this is a big park there's a lot of trails and they are I would say probably intermediate they are not that easy we're more than comfortable with the trails but um, the little guy here you know he seems quite tired already so we're gonna try to take it easy and not do any of the technical stuff just to make it easier on him. Yeah, they, uh, they have a lot of actual uh, hiking here where you have to go up and down a lot of rocks. So there's not really a, it's also very muddy. As you can see, uh, Atlas, no, there go our shoes. So apparently it's a hike down to get the balanced rock and then it's even crazier to get to do Devil's Doorway. So I think we might have to reschedule uh, for that. Potholes? We've got enough potholes in Chicago. <laughs> we don't need to see any more. <laughs> oh man. But I mean, if you can see, it's a really big lake. They do a, um, a lot of camping. I mean, there's trails all around. Campgrounds. It's a really, really cool place. I definitely want to come back here when there's a little bit more um, Greenery, a little dead, but still beautiful. When they said steep hill, it was no joke. Just keeps uh, go. It doesn't look like much, but it's uh, definitely make sure you have better shoes than I do. Cause it's, uh, those rocks are a little dangerous. Just waiting for your ankle to go right. So we want to bring Atlas more places, but unfortunately stairs are his uh, nemesis. And then it becomes a workout for the both of us to either carry him in the backpack or, you know, carry him in my arms. So then I just, he's about 40 pounds. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a hefty load to carry up and down the, like 20 flights of stairs. Last time we brought him to Cinque Terre, a town in Italy. I think I counted, we climbed one day, 72 flights of stairs with him. And we probably carried him for about majority of them up and down. So that was next day. I don't think we went anywhere because it was just, uh, our legs were done, just done. So today we're just kind of taking it easy. And we're definitely gonna come back here, maybe without him. We'll see it because this is a little too much for his little legs. The benefit to today's hike is that we came, it's about uh, 63 degrees outside Fahrenheit, and you have just like a really nice breeze, so at least we're not really too sweaty. But I, I don't know if I would come here in the summer. It's a lot. It's it's pretty humid underneath the trees, but it's pretty nice. I, the summertime means more bugs, more people, more humidity. That could be a disaster. So I'm glad we did this right now because the weather is absolutely perfect. It's not even too sunny. It's like yeah. partly cloudy outside. So that's amazing. Also make sure to wear a tick repellent. We saw quite a few signs. You do not want to get, uh, what is it, Lyme disease? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, we, we've known people that had to deal with that. So not something I want to deal with. We're also here on a Friday. So not really crowded. We heard on the weekends during the summer, it can get pretty crazy. So come here, if you're coming on the weekend, really early in the morning, they open at 6 a.m. till 11. Uh, unless you're staying overnight, you have to have a special permit. To get in, if you're a non-Wisconsin resident, it is $16. Uh, or if you pay 38, it was, you get access for the entire uh, year or till the end of the year to all the state parks in Wisconsin. So that was pretty cool, but. I don't know how outdoorsy will be this year. 
I don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment yet. We'll it's, see. It's one of those things like um, New Year's resolutions, where you say you're going to do it, but then by January 2nd, you're like, yeah, maybe I've changed my mind. <laughs> I mean, it's already May, so we're a little late on the New Year's resolution, but you know, it's better start now than never. <laughs> Uh, Atlas keeps looking at something in the bushes. Makes me nervous, but... There's not really any bushes. I mean, I think he's... Who knows? Maybe he's too tired and he's starting to see things. So Atlas is not really a huge fan of water. He likes to look at it from far away. But not really a good swimming dog. He tries, but he hates being wet. So three miles done, and we're done. I think Atlas is uh, very done. <laughs> yeah, this was a beautiful day. I mean, you really don't get days like this very often where the weather is just perfect. Not too cold, not too hot, mm. sunny, um, and very few people out today, which is very awesome. Very quiet. It's like the perfect escape from Chicago. I mean, again, under three hours driving, it feels like we're you know in Italy or somewhere in remote parts of Europe. It's really, I mean, it's, 64 right now, and it's just the best weather. No wind, beautiful birds, just quiet. And there's so many parts of the US that are like this that we have to discover. You know, traveling is one thing, but generally a lot of people, when they think of traveling, they go from city to city to city. And when you try something like this, where you go out to a state park or a national park, I mean, the rewards will speak for themselves because it's just beautiful and you don't really get anything like this anywhere else. So this I mean, is definitely something to check out. The goal for the upcoming months is to definitely spend more time outside, get a little bit more healthy, more fit. I mean, just really be out in nature more. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful. We have so much stuff to see uh, around Chicago. I mean, within day's trip, within like 48 hours trip, we have, we have a bucket list. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and follow us on our adventures. I mean, there's a lot of parts we haven't seen yet. So we hope to, you know, explore those and share those with the world and kind of hopefully, you know, give some tips and advice along the way. I mean, we're new at this. I mean, I know a lot of our friends, a lot of the people we know are. So, I mean, that's shit. To... Yeah. I mean, she pretty much said everything. <laughs> so thank you for checking this out and we hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll stick with us and we can show you some more of our adventures. <laughs>